Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to TNO. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, or Harold Mocha Lover. And right now, we're looking at quite a smashed Germany. My goodness. I would not want to be in Germany right now. But anyways, let's go ahead and do another focus. Now, we've got quite a few comms to go through. And one of them said, don't worry about doing the left side here. So, we're not. So, let's see. So, another comment was, someone said, do enemies closer focus, as well as contact the gorillas. Death's hand, eyes of Osterreich, workload goes on. Oh, and we've also stuff down here, enemies side by side. And then empower the SS, so that, that's really cool. Soldiers are soldiers, united front. Fagerlein, 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 yes please. Eyes and ears, the wannabe, the final hurdle. Death's hand, man in the high castle, sounds somewhat familiar. Actually, that might not be bad since he is sort of aligned with Himmler right now. We probably want to get rid of that though. Let's see, closer, let's step in closer. Oh yeah, enemies closer is right there. We would have done that. So when, ah, so it's right there. Cool. I did not see that. So contact the gorillas. Aside from the militarists, many Spearites and Bolmanites have survived the civil war with their leaders gone. They've rallied to the banner of Reinhard Galen, the former head of Fremde Heers Ost. Though Galen is a sly and egotistical usurper, these civilians do lend a certain degree of legitimacy to his supposed authority. The civilians can hang on for all the Führer cares. They are still traitors after all. Galen, on the other hand, would be an invaluable asset owing to his decades of intelligence work and continent-spanning connections. He might be the sole individual in Europe capable of matching Himmler's operatives. Additionally, to our north, the famed 1st Panzer Grenade Division Bazooka continues to hold out in Pomerania. They have aggressively fought off both our forces and those of neighboring factions. <clears throat> Mr. Schmittler's le legendary sword and shield might just serve Hadrish very well. Cool. Very good. Very, very good. And it does hurt seeing this up here. Oof. Oof. That is not very good. Oh my goodness. But it doesn't matter where we're going. Let's see. Last of the militarists. The pretenders. Oh, Alice who thickens in might not be bad. Oh, let's see. Last of the militarists. True motive. So, monsters on the run. Yeah. But swing the Wehrmacht. We'll probably do that one too. Um, maybe. Actually, you know what? I don't I just gotta double check. I've just gotta double check. I don't wanna make a mistake here. Freikorps Berserker. Berserker, Berserker, Berserker. Now we do want to get Westfallen. Or Lotharingen, even though Um Lotharingen's really over here. Lotharingen, Berserker, Schlesher, Industry Bund, and Children of Spartacus probably won't talk to us at all. And Sasha Heights. Fager lines controlled by Burgundy. Which is not good, yeah. Nuremberg is the way we gotta go. But Alice through thick and thin. Man, there's so many here. So many donuts. I'll see the right side. Is that worth their Untermensch? The Forgotten Realm. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. All as us to like. Westfalen, let's go and do that one. Poor little Klingenberg, all alone his pathetic excuse for a fiefdom. Fully half of his forces proclaim loyalty to the Fuhrer, while Himmler ignores his naive efforts to integrate or ingratiate himself. Klingenberg is crying out for recognition or to be crushed. Either way, suits Hadrish. Klingenberg is unworthy of help, let alone respect, but controls a substantial population and industrial base. Additionally, if we support him and disp or dispose him, the entirety of his forces will be at our disposal. We'll see what we can do with him. Because they're still trying to do stuff over here, contempla contemplating fate. <clears throat> Hitler's old clock slowly ticked the seconds away with the setting of the sun, the only sun of Hadr in Hadridge's office besides the distant marching of SS patrols on the asphalt of Germania streets. Warm natural light filled the room, making ignatic bright love reflections upon gold, silver, and glass. The fear stirred from slumber and raised his head, squinting against the golden rays shining in. He stood in and strode over to draw the curtains, blinking sleep from his eyes. It wouldn't do to fall behind on such a basic physical need, but the work, so much work, Organizing the extermination of millions had been simple compared to the task before him now. Back then, everything had been simpler. The Führer Princip and his trust in Himmler guided his hand, raising him ever higher in Hitler's estimation. Then came the coup, the pointless coup, that we had, that had thrown over, overthrown everything and dealt for the first time in his life. The Wehrmacht wouldn't work with him. Himmler thought of him as a failure, and the Führer himself, well, his trust, had, trust remained, but that wasn't worth giving, given his growing senility. As he sat and flicked the lamp on. His eyes caught on the silver skull of his SS cap perched on the corner of his desk. He picked it up and regarded it as idly, or idly, running a thumb over the polished, 
Medal, warm by sunlight. Once that symbol had struck fear into the hearts of anyone from Dublin to Moscow, it stood for ruthlessness, cold-hearted efficiency, and the absolute mastery of the Aryan race. Then it became associated solely with Himmler's treason and then Hagesh's own. <clears throat> Even if he succeeded in casting down Burgundy, what would it mean in the future? Would it speak of the great treachery of the Fuhrer himself, who allied with insurgents and traitors to destroy National Socialism and the Reich? Perhaps, if all went well, it would come to mean unity and triumph of Germany. But in that moment, feeling treason's weight upon his shoulders, Hagesh couldn't imagine anything so agreeable. Who will speak for me in history? Gotta keep an eye on this. You probably don't have to keep an eye on that too much, so this part is much more important. We have 55,000 people, huh? Or at least manpower and reserve. Let's see, someone said in the comments from the last video, we, we either save this world from nuclear fire, or we literally die trying. Oh, look at this. Did I hear that right? Spado was generally confused. There was no way this man, the blonde butcher, one of the masterminds behind the great labor and death camps, just gave that order. He just sighed, though. Instead of looking annoyed like he usually did at his subordinates, he looked tired. The Pride Corps, you have connections with their leaders. He paused. Hadrich's face was almost contorted. Spada would have laughed at his discomfort, but fought off the urge. Professionalism had kept him alive so far, and an outburst now could potentially reverse his decision. Lives, German lives, and friends were at stake. I need you to... The requ Reich requires... Can you do it? Of course, it will be done. Cool. And fast-track fuel shipments? Absolutely. Whatever we need to do, we must. Man in the High Castle. Death's Hand. Freistadt Prussen. Prussen. Was it supposed to be Prussen? Tear the castle down. Swift and efficient. Decrease faction stuff. Greatly increases loyalty. Answer the phone. The weak link. Greatly increases loyalty. Hmm. Oh, the wannabe, of course. Lothringen might be really good to do. Sisha height doesn't really mean too much. We can't do that one. Fagerline, Fagerline, Fagerline. Kampfgruppe, Fagerline, of course. Enemies on all sides. Steiner. I mean, I'll do all these. I don't know if that makes sense if we can get all of them. So, I'll also wreck an old friend. Reich. Hmm. I want to keep... I want to answer the phone. Wegelsberg calls and Hedrich answers. Klingenberg's fife is staring at itself a pot as his SS falls in infighting, and while SS partisans or anti SS partisans harass him endlessly. If the Fuhrer chooses to intervene on Klingenberg's side, it will be a time consuming but rewarding venture. The fact that Klingenberg is of the Deutsch SS will make him more receptive to us. He's clearly in over his head and might appreciate deferring his responsibilities to a higher authority. Now, even though he did fall under Burgundy's control, he's only Himmler leaning, which could change. Oh, Freistadt Preussen. Oh, they're completely loyal to Himmler. That's not good. Receipt. He let the phone ring twice before he picked it up with a sense of dread. It had failed. He had burned too many bridges, killed too many people, committed too many atrocities. Why did he think anyone would even consider, much less actually work with him? He picked up the phone. Hey, Drish, who is it? My Fira, it's Spido. I have something here for you, or someone here for you. Some shuffling in the background, and then another voice. My Fira, Ulrich Wegener is here. Hands filled me in, reporting for duty. Ulrich, it's good to have you on board. Oh. Rikor Bazooka is leaning towards us. Oh, look at that. 44.4%. Nice. Very, very good. Let's see. Anything. Actually, is there. What do we have an extra decision to do? Oh, reintegrate. Oh, look at that. Yes. Just as we had hoped. Alright. Arm the slaves in Nuremberg. Yeah. What is their loyalty like right now? Um, you know what? As long as it increases loyalty to us, that's all I really care about. Answer the phone, will you? The weak link. Klingenberg has promised us Wevelsberg in the event of victory. Normally, the Fuhrer would turn his nose up at such an offer, but the old SS Citadel might contain secrets yet on Earth, weapons to be used against Himmler. It also aid our legitimacy somewhat. For now, though, Westphalia's industry is more important. We will continue to funnel arms and supplies to Klingenberg, with the ex expectation that he will serve us faithfully when the time comes for battle with Himmler's loyalists. Nice. I'm glad we're ahead of them now. That, that that makes me feel pretty good. That makes me feel pretty good about that. Even though there's a lot of people who do not like us at all. Thrash that person is not very good. Hey, look at that. Hey, look at this. Moderate support. Pragmatist support. Rogue element. Low to Beautiful. Wait, are they? Oh, they are a part of us. Oh, did our GDP go up at all? Oh, we actually have the division here. Nice. Um, since you guys are normal panzers and such, you're not bad. I like the ape. I love APCs, man. I'll be honest. I am a sucker for some good old APCs. But I'm going to throw you guys over here as well. Just because we don't need that big of a Special Forces tank crew. So, this is awesome. 
Oh, and we gotta make sure we keep it on. Put plenty of spare parts. Doesn't matter. I don't care what it takes. We've gotta get that done. No, they didn't really help our GDP, but whatever. Oh, I thought it's through thick and thin, huh? That bypassed? Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. Commando Shabaf off and SS joins their faction. Alice through thick and thin is. Right here. Cool. So we don't have to do that one. Oh, wait. Do we have more? Oh, we. We integrated them as well. Nice. Uh, fans of Grenada Divisions. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, so if that's the case. You know what? I'm gonna ming I'm gonna con continue mingling these divisions. Sylvester Stadler? I almost said Sylvester Stallone. That'd be really cool if we had Sylvester Stallone in 65 as a general, but yeah, that's just me. But I'm gonna continue mingling my infantry and motorize together just because. I want them to be able to respond quickly to holes in the line if we actually end up in a war. So, assist construction projects? I like that one. Or, increase loyalty. I don't want to lose... Eh, civilian factories doesn't really mean too much to us right now. We're still trying to build more, don't get me wrong, but... we we clink. Alright, so. Next up, eyes and ears, all bark, no bite. I don't want to fight them, because that might provoke a big old war, maybe? Maybe not? So, the wannabe... Oldenstadt, let's see. Lothringen would be good. The Westfalen. Um, yeah. So we're trying to do Nuremberg. Is it Schleicher, Industry Boond, Westfalen, Burgundy. So at 14. Uh, Lothringen might be pretty good to do. Westfalen is actually neutral now. Huh. So if you Lothringen, let's try Lothringen then. See, yeah, over here. The Fuhrer was once adamant that the world could not be or could not take a more absurd turn, yet he has proven wrong once more. For now, there's a second Oldenstadt in the world. Theodor Eike, a man defined by desperation and spite, has proclaimed his new Oldenstadt Lothringen. We could simply find a way to eliminate this deluded pawn of Himmler, or perhaps, despite his bitter loathing for hatred, the truth will set him free. Hopefully. Very good. Very, very good. I'm glad we could integrate other areas. That's actually really nice. It makes it just look a little bit better. Just a tiny bit better. Actually. Let's see. Hadris leaning. Loyalty to him. Hadris leaning. Hadris leaning. Yeah, hopefully Berserker is actually not leaning towards us, toward anyone since we have um, integrated them. So, we want to be. Supporting subversive elements. No longer a pawn. Standing by our side. That's not bad. Decre Ooh, greatly decreases a lot of different support. Ooh. Moderate faction. So, right now, who do we have? We have moderate support and pragmatist support. We have pragmatist and decreased militarist. Greatly decreases SS idealist. I don't like that. No longer a pawn. Ooh, we could try this. <clears throat> Ica must be interested in what the Fuhrer knows of Himmler's plans for a man so bitter and jaded as Ica. Des desperate to prove himself to, un to an uncaring master to learn that all of it was for nothing a familiar story to Hadrish. It's past the time that someone else shares this feeling. Feel it and learn from it. Have a taste of what true betrayal feels like, you pathetic rat. We'll see what happens with him. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that would probably be good to do. Arm the slaves. We do want to do that down there, too. So, Fast track fuel. Good. So, we've only three. Cool. 42, 45, 42, 42, 49. Militarists. We really like the militarists. <clears throat> and this is just a little crazy. Death's hand, huh? I think it's too late for them. This is idealist. Leaves. Oh! Decisively increases loyalty to Hadrish. We just go to straight up war with them. Is that. Would that be a good thing to do? Maybe, maybe not. No longer pawn standing by our side. If I could bother to open his eyes and see the truth right in front of him, we can certainly count on his motivation if nothing else. Betrayal tends to be breed either apathy or fury, and men of SS are not the apathetic type. Turning the false Oldenstadt against Himmler will be a cutting blow to his confidence. Ica is unlikely to know of anything of value, but does possess a decent force, which will in turn be motivated by his desire for revenge against Himmler. No longer a pawn. Fabricate Himmlerite communications. Appeal to Ica's ambition. Somewhat, that's somewhat good. Provide industrial aid. Yes. 
42, 45, 42, 42, 59. Death of Ho Chi Minh, well, another guy gone. And they did increase our GDP, which, you know, our deficit, deficit to income ratio is almost 200%. But hey, you know, whatever. Cool. I might do this one next, but... Okay, standing by our side. Oh, just auto bypass. Cool. And we get something else here. Provide spare parts, yes, please. See, my spare gets still free. I don't think that was the one. Fagaline, 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 Fagaline. Actually, where is Fagaline? Which one is he? Oh, sorry, scores any. Transfer the missile stockpile on this state to another allied state. Uh, we're kind of okay with that. Actually, can I transfer it to Buster Reich? No, it's not, it's not under us, so. Let's see. Steiner, Nuremberg. Was it? No, shit. That guy's with us, which is really great. Oh, but whose control is this? Sister Heights, Freistadt, Henlein. Oh, is it down here? No, Galen's down there in the part of the right. band. Sap Dietrich? Sap Dietrich. Uh, no, I didn't think that was him. Ah, Mr. Handsome. Ah, Fagelin's right next to us. Oh. He's leaning. He's got nothing in there, so probably not. Enemy side by side. Steiner, the work goes on. Let's see if we can do something with this. It's good that the Natural Order of Things has survived in Silesia, or a form of it at least. Karl Hanka and his assortment of capitalist swine are not ideal leaders for national socialism, but if they continue to run the factories and keep the slaves in their price, they will suffice. Now, we must assume control of Silesia ourselves by any means necessary. If one, it is one of the Reich's most important industrial zones, securing those mines and factories for the fear might give us the edge we need to match Burgundy's arms production. We've got a lot of political power. Then work goes on. So, corporate power, open for business. Drain ten million dollars. Their industrial equipment, societal development greatly goes up. Keeping the workers here, poverty goes up. Greatly increases loyalty to Hadrish. I'd rather have more mo bad money. As a fruit, so though true national socialism was envisaged by Hadrish, would be free from capitalist interference. We must tolerate the industrial cartels for now. We can dismantle them later on. Right now, though, we need their managerial expertise to keep the arms factories running. Aji Faben, Rex Vecca, um, Daimler Bands, and Siemens all have a presence in Silesia. We should entreat them to support us in similar efforts. We are natural allies, after all. Their money won't be worth anything if it's incinerated by nuclear fire. Which is absolutely true. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Nothing we can do anymore. <clears throat> Man, Himmler's gone uh, a little crazy. But then again, I guess he always was probably a little crazy. Oh, during this time, we, we have been able to research this stuff. Not bad. We're, we're finishing our land doctrine. Artillery. Actually, it is 65. Let's come over here. 70. Anything else here? Nope. That's, actually, we got that done. Nice. Very nice. Anti-air. Don't want to be bothered by trying to research that stuff. Marines. Let's go with... This one. Special Forces. Because we can. Shock and all is done. Cool. And let's grab some better tanks. Or main main battle tanks, I should really say. There we go. Fast track fuel shipments. Go right ahead. Fine with us. Corporate power. Open for business. By empowering the corporations and bringing them into the fold, we can sideline Karl Henke. He may be an SS man, but his refusal to immediately swear fealty to Hadrish makes him untrustworthy. The capitalists might be driven by greed, but that makes them controllable. We must hope that, that the cartels do not get wind of our plans for after Himmler is defeated. They have no place in the new Germany, or perhaps they are already aware and plotting against us. Whatever the case, we must keep an eye on them. Good. That does not matter for where we are headed. Let's see. Hmm... We'll give them more stability. A more stable nation. Signal companies, eh? Loyalty. I think we're doing pretty darn well so far. 60. Go ahead and do some logistics companies, because you can. You just gotta keep an eye on this stuff. Oof. Oh, what do we need? We need more support equipment. That's not good. Let's see. I'm trying to make a lot of artillery for our infantry, so... Go ahead and lower it by, like, 3... No, just go to 15. That's fine. We need a lot more support equipment to do that stuff, so... Balance of Trust. 42, 45, yeah. Not, haven't, hasn't changed yet, so... Good. Oh, can we integrate... Reintegrate them? Oh, a little bit of lag there. 
and decouple Honka's influence. Sure, why not? Oh, he's 93 out of 95. That's not bad. Open for business. Good. Begline decreases his little kingdom. Eyes of Osterreich. Well, I think we've done a lot of these already. I definitely want to. I definitely want to see if I can do this one because we m might get the children of Spartacus and. Preussen leaves Himmler's Loyalistin. Even though we do go to war with Preussen, a page from Leopold's book. The final hurdle. A jaunt into Alsace. Monk? Yeah, he's not a very good guy. An old friend. Swing the Wehrmacht? Let's do that one. In times when our ideal society is fraying at the edges, perhaps it needs more than ideologues to save it. The good men in the SS true, but their allegiances are ever shifting. The Wehrmacht, on the other hand, knows where they stand, their loyalty to the Reich and principle to the Fuhrer. It will not be easy to convince the remaining independent Wehrmacht elements of our good intentions, but we must try. There are only good men in the Reich whom we can be certain are not compromised by Himmler. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, arm the slaves. Reintegrate these guys. Almost 50. Reintegrate these guys. It's slowly going up, but it's taking quite a while. Irkutsk? Oh. Oh, boy. And this one, it's slowly going to go up, but it's going to take some time, too. It's all just going to take some time. And that's okay. After that one. The last of the militarists. The pretenders. Actually, do we somewhere down here? Enemies side by side. I want to do Steiner and see what happens. Steiner. Felix Steiner. He's an interesting fellow. Devoutly loyal to Hitler and the chain of command, he is a rare example of an SS general respected by the Wehrmacht. As such, he commands both SS and regular forces in his personal domain. His troops are loyal, well motivated, and disciplined. Ideal soldiers for the true Fuhrer. If the problem of their infighting can be solved, they could become one of the most potent forces in the Reich. Crucially, Steiner has rejected Himmler thus far. He is not loyal to Heydrich yet, but we expect him to be very receptive once negotiations are open. Alright, so. You are... We need more army XP. Hmm. Reintegrate these guys. They're getting higher, which is good. That is pretty darn low, not gonna lie. This is not bad. And for this one, Oba Commando de Lufafa, they're pretty close. Provide spare parts. Let's do that one. Oh, we can do it now. Great. Great. Speaking of Spidel, <clears throat> nobody so much as glanced at Spidel as he entered Hedrich's command center. Bar the fear himself, who raised his gaze from the operations desk long enough to nod in agreeing in a greeting. Report to Alf Spidel, he said, loud enough to be heard over the chatter of the surrounding F staffers. What is the status of non SS elements in the Reich? Spidel's face remained calm as he walked over to the, de to the desk. Despite the twinge of distaste that accompanied every word from Hedrich's mouth, status is excellent, better than the SS at least. No reaction from the fear on that. Curious. Wagner's divisions hold firm in the Pomerania, with strong support with, from the local population. He tapped on the location upon the map of Germany, which had been highlighted in black. Here, he continued, shifting his finger south. Steinhoff and the remainders of the Luftwaffe have coalesced around the air bases in Lower Bavaria. They're experiencing supply shortages, but they still control most of the air fleet and some aircraft factories. Then there's enough. Hadrush interrupted with a wave of his hand. I'll read your report later. What I need to know right now is how we bring these old friends of yours into our camp. He looks up again. Eyes hollow as they've been for weeks. We are short on time, Spado. Tell me so I can get it done before they get any ideas of their own. Spado thought for a moment and shrugged. Tell them you stand against Himmler. That's any or all that's all any of them would ask of you. Were it so easy. Industry support, yes please. Even though yeah we I'm glad we got Spido. I'm glad we uh, went over there to the prison. Right? I think we went there. Yeah, last episode. I don't know. I play so many campaigns, so many things, and sometimes off screen too, that I get my campaigns mixed up sometimes. It is what it is. Liberation. Anything else? Side by side. You know what? I think I'm going to do Death Send next because I want to get this. It de decreases, greatly decreases SS idealism, but whatever. Adrian and Nachman have a long history together. Working in tandem, it was they who truly laid the groundwork for a great cleansing of Europe. Millions of unwanted souls removed from the world in the name of the master race are a testament to the joint efficiency. But that was long ago. The glories of those times are in question. More pertinent to our situation is that Eichmann's loyalty lies with Himmler these days. Perhaps it's not too late for him, however, though currently engaged in a renewed purge of East Prussia. It's also menaced by the slaver bolt to his north. Here lies a chance to win him back over to our side if it is, he is worth the effort. Now, that's good. But, let's see what happens. Two, that's that's really, really good that we got that. Oh, wait, did they integrate? Oh, no. Oh, they actually integrated this, these guys. Oh, crap, that is not ideal. Uh, I didn't know they could actually integrate. And now I kind of want to play as Himmler, because that seems like a lot of fun. 
Best Fallen? I'm gonna go and do that one, just in case. Because Best Fallen. Oh, Steiner. Yeah, he's Himmler leaning. Ooh, I, if we could get that under him, or, or under us, that would be good. So, we're Ruchus via the diplomatic office today, announcing that Ireland has decided to strike out on its own. <clears throat> The message from Taoisha Lemas was polite and placating, apologizing for the sudden departure from our alliance and thanking us for years of national friendship. <coughs> it's obviously just an apologetic attempt to avoid Wehrmacht boots on Irish soil, but it's quite obvious that they had little choice in that matter. The terrorist Seamus Tuomi of the communist leaning paramilitary organization Sao Air outmaneuvered the Irish army, which had been towered or tutored by our own Wehrmacht for decades to forcefully occupy the northern counties that had previously been a slice of the UK. Tuomi's demands have been a complete annulment of all ties to our Reich, there else there would be a civil war for the fate of the nation. It seems the spineless Fianna Fáil party were unwilling to fight for their place in the world and have now caved into the treacherous Bolsheviks' demands. And I think people always say we're crazy when we say Bolsheviks are sabotaging us. Death Sand. Alright, so we could go to war, maybe. And there we go. Just like old times. Increases loyalty. I want Spart. We gotta get Spartacus under us. Because that is just more. More people under us, right? I mean, Spartacus is up here. They are anti German. But if we can somehow convince them, even though we're Burgundians, or Burgundian system followers, that would be really good. Now, hold on. Before we do that, we go to war with these guys, right? Price stop pricing. They're not allied. Ooh, yeah. Uh, oh, if we go to war with them, though, that would probably end up in nuclear hellfire, right? Hmm. I like the flag, though. If we can't get these guys, we can still maybe get Nuremberg and Seashore Industry Boond, which would not be bad. If we lose those guys, so we still have a chance if we don't get them, just like old times. And it doesn't really matter for them. A jaunt into Alsace. Simple statement. Compromise with them. Hmm. Are there any other focuses that we have not done yet that we can do? Empower the SS. Uh, increases, increases loyalty. We don't have enough influence. Militarist faction. I we are trying to do the militarist thing. March together. Unified front. Fill out their ranks. Uh, so we have moderate support and pragmatist support. So, hmm. Idealist, militarist, pragmatist. That would probably be the best way to go down here. So let's go with him. Morals mean nothing in war. Ah, uh, Freistadt Preussen cannot exist for this. So, hmm. And I don't think they'll go with Burgundy, so we'll see what happens. March together. Neither the SS nor the Wehrmacht should enjoy primacy under Steiner's command. The fear wishes for the two branches of our armed forces to cooperate fully without the need of constant disciplinary actions. How many campaigns were sabotaged by the SS for refusing to accept the Wehrmacht's position and vice versa? This will be a difficult route, but Steiner will need help to keep his units organized, but only racial unity will lead us to victory. Cool. Decouple it. Let's see. 23 out of 95 is not good. Not good. Not good. Yeah, we're currently influencing SS Idealist Warlord. Obviously, um, I'm doing this without too much knowledge about how to do this, but hey, we'll do the best we can. <clears throat> A little bit of lag. Sverdlovsk unifies West Siberia. No one has time for games like that. Ooh, Idealist. Negative factional opinion. There you do so may lead to the deaths of all we hold dear. Do they break free once they once we liberate once they uh, have unliked opinions of us? Because that would not be very good. Hopefully that doesn't happen. But we'll see what happens. March together. If that's the case, I'm I'm tempted to do more idealist stuff. Actually, did that go down even further? Oh yeah, pragmatists. Ooh, that's not good. Pragmatists or idealists? Oh, I did pragmatists here. Yeah, we need to do that one. Uh, keep the Untermesh quiet. Nope. Influence efforts at. Ooh, keep the moderates sewage to. So that's effective. Keep the military satiated and such. Keep our SS strong. Slightly less effective, moderately more effective. And. Hmm. The final hurdle. All eyes and ears. Sons of Sudenton. Someone increases loyalty. Yeah. Hmm. Mountain Mothers. An old friend. New decisions. 
Idealist faction opinion. I like that. No time to chat. Yeah, let's go, old friend. Joachim Piper, leader of the Blowtorch Battalion. No other man so embodies the ruthless driver of the SS. His bloody, uncompromising command has made him few friends, but plutocrats and Bolsheviks alike have learned to fear him. We're an enemy, and we would have cause for concern. But Piper and Fear are old friends. There could still be some hurdles on the way, but bringing the Kampf group uh, to our side will be no trouble at all. I don't like this. The natives do really like us, but, hmm. There's so much we gotta do. There's so much idealist. So many idealists here. Best of all, is loyalty is going lower and lower. We probably won't actually be able to get them. Wait. Steiner. On group. Steiner. Yeah, but, oh, the best of all is right here. That's right. Alright. Four. Do we get another decision? We get an old friend. See at the table. We're going to have to do that one. How can the Fuhrer have anything but respect for Piper? He is a man who has proven his absolute loyalty to the Reich by word and deed, time and time again. He is the physical manifestation of the SS's martial ethos. We shall approach him as a benevolent superior officer, not as an aloof dictator. Piper deserves fair treatment for his decades of service, no matter what disagreements we might find now. Harsh demands will not lure him down from his alpine fortress. Can't hear anything, so... There we go. Early industrial robots, well... Himmler... Shine up, my goodness. Loyalty, loyalty. Yeah, it doesn't look good, but we still have more nuclear stockpiles, so that's what matters. Mm, so that's all good. Over here, doesn't matter too much. Tank stuff. Eh, you might as well do this one. It's almost 66 anyway, so. Good, alright. So, we can't... Oh, we have a few more things we can do here. So, on group Steiner. Low loyalty. Arm the slaves. For Nuremberg. Nuremberg, though, is at 57. As much as I want Steiner, Nuremberg is still more important. We need more army XP, too. So I'm going to have all you guys train. All you guys. Everyone. Well, maybe it's up tanks. Tanks are hard to make. Actually, how much, how much extra supplies of tanks do we have? What's our stockpile like? Happy 66, everyone. Happy having a great year. Uh, it's okay. We're not making tanks, though, which is not good. Yeah, we're missing a lot of stuff here. Wow. It kind of sucks when you uh, <laughs> break up your country. A seat at the table. A trip to the Eagle's Nest. Let it be known that Hadrish is not so aloof that he will refuse to meet his subordinates. He is no Borman, lowering it over the Reich with, from the comfort of his office. He is more than willing to descend upon the Reich Chancellor to handle affairs with his own two hands. Let Piper see our true intentions for himself. He is a simple soldier, able to appreciate a leader who takes the initiative in this. Hadrish is ten times the man Himmler could ever hope to be, and Piper will know it. Alright, so. We have these guys. And I think this is the only group here that's actually like militarists, so... And we're doing pretty well with this, so far. Good. On um, the slaves. How is this looking? Oh, 22! Why has it gone even further down? 25? Negative factional opinion. Is it because Himmler's maybe doing something against us? Oh wow, we have 8, nice. Facilitate interstuff branch. On group of Steiner. Well, the 25. Steiner's leadership. Well, ooh, actually, Steiner's... Oh, that's still Steiner. Fleisch? Oh, Fleisch is not bad. Yeah, I like Fleisch. Which is just, sounds like Flesh. Fleisch could be good. Or Nuremberg, which... Well, we can't do anything for Nuremberg now, so... Mm, 60. And Steiner. I've got to go with Fleisch, right? Steiner has nothing. There's so many things I can't keep up. Keep it straight. Germany is led by Oberkommando here. Skolzini, I remember that guy. Nuremberg is led by, well, Kalten Brunner. And, oh no, they got Westfallen. No. Oh, we actually have 55.5. Look at that. Nice. Nice. Awesome. So, we're, I'm feeling pretty good about this, actually. Can we? Hmm. Move the missile stockpile to the state. Interesting. Cool. That's, yeah, Sepp Dietrich, Galen, Raymer, and Durnitz is up here, right? Yeah. He's, he's old, man. At this point, he's old. Fleisch is down there in Austria. <sighs> hmm. Steiner is just too low. I don't think we'll be able to get him. I mean, we could try. But I don't think we'll be able to get him. Loyalty, Hadrish leaning. 
Steiner is Himmler leaning. Actually, how, how far is he leaning? Steiner is 27, so we focus more on... Oh. The final hurdle. So, so if we go to war, does that mean we're just going to kill each other off? Trip to the east. Oh, they took him out. You know what? Screw it. Then I'll go to war with someone else too then. A page from Leopold's book. We'll see what happens. Because... We probably... Ooh, ideal support. We don't, we don't have that much ideal support anyways, though. 25? Camp group up. Fleisch. Fleisch does not like that, though. Hmm. I don't like what... Himmler is getting so much more influence. Jesus Christ. A simple statement. A simple request. That could be pretty good. Decisions, decisions, decisions. My goodness. What is that one? 57.7. Got donuts. A little kingdom. All's on, I'm going to do a simple request. Though hostilities are inevitable. Some of Fierro's advisors have counseled a cautious request to ask Monk to simply allow Hadrian's his loyal troops stranded in the area to depart from our ter for territory. The Fierro is doubtful of Monk's acquiescence, but it's possible that he's not yet alerted to Himmler's plans, being a mere crony, and if he agrees, it might bolster our manpower somewhat. Well, okay then. You know what? I'm going to risk this. Uh, I really want to risk it. Uh, I really do, but... Eyes and ears. Why not? The Butcher of Leon, Klaus Barbi, has made a new home in Danzig, where our glorious crusade against the world degeneracy began in earnest with his grasp of intelligence and security. He would be a valuable asset, assuming we can pry him from Himmler's grasp. The threat Barbi represents is more political than anything else. He will continue to feed information to Himmler so long as the Reichsfear supports him. This leak must be plugged. The Eagle's Nest. Hadrish. I'd always used the meeting spot more than the Fuhrer it had been built for. Hitler never liked heights, and as he ailed, he thought about the thin mountaineer would serve to send him to an early grave. The Fuhrer's hangers on uh, were preferred to stay in Germany where they could weasel their way out. <clears throat> or, uh, preferred where they weasel their way into every political dealing or going on that occurred. Hadrich, comfortable that the Fuhrer would not replace him because of it, made infrequent visits to the Kelstein house. Piper had always been waiting for him in. The foyer. Hadrius wordlessly sat as his old friend poured him a cup of tea for a moment. Hadrius allowed himself to think that they were back in the olden days, having a leisurely chat about nothing of consequence. That was not the case. I'm afraid there's some things I must share with you, Jochen. Grave things. Hadrius gingerly withdrew the folder containing Himmler's grand plan, offering it to Piper. Piper shook his hand, or shook his head, pushing the folder back towards Hadrius without so much as a glance. I know. I've known for years, since after the war. Hadrius's soft gaze hardened into a glare, and as the words cut deep, Himmler, he... The dude had told Piper before him. Who else had known? Josias von Ribbentrop? Who else had Himmler trusted more than his precise or prized lieutenant? His voice was a growl. I suppose you've been aiding him then? Working with madmen and lunatics to doom the world? No! For the first time in years, Hadrian saw fear creep in his old eyes, or his old friend's eyes, as he pleaded with the fear. I wanted the chance to stop him, Reinhardt, I, but I know I could not on my own. It was impossible. As Hadrian looked up upon Hadrian, Piper in the state. Someone had long looked up to. He found nothing but a rush of disgust. Cowardice was not a good look for a military man, nor a good trait in an ally. Piper had behaved like a disgrace to the Aryan race and national socialism, and would have continued to do so had Hadrian not risen against Himmler. For a moment, the Fuhrer considered putting his worm once in his friend out of his misery. But times were desperate. Absolutely desperate. I really don't like this, how Burgundy just slowly getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, we are somewhat as well, but still. Are they allied to anyone besides these guys? Hmm. Legion loyalty. Are we allied with any of us? We're allied to these guys down here, which is nice. Ooh, look at that. Alright, so. We're getting closer for these guys. Preussen, we're not probably even going to be able to get. The uh, These guys, Arm the Slaves, and Nuremberg. We just gotta keep going with Nuremberg. Oh, but Fleisch is so close. So close. Increases, somewhat increases. We gotta do this one. He's so close. Eyes and ears. So close. Figure line, figure line, figure line. Sons of Sudenton. Last of the militarists. Why not? With the Reichsmarschall no longer present as a figurehead, the military's clique within the Wehrmacht is disintegrated as expected. Ultimately, as they turned out to be a sheep in wolf's clothing, not. Not leaders or stri strategists. They've been thoroughly routed by the SS and no longer pose a threat to world peace. Except for one, that is Otto Ernst Rehmer, a vicious little rat with delusions of grandeur. By far the most radical militarist in the Reich, Rehmer has always advocated for war as an end in itself. Now have his chance truly a war to eclipse all others. We're getting higher and higher here, which is okay, but... Oof. I wonder what the world is thinking about the, like Germany right now. It's gotta be looking pretty bad. And these guys are about authoritarian democracy. Okay. 
the moss. Twomi, eh? The unlikeliest of dissenters. Oh. Oh, they stepped down, huh? Let's see. Building our network increases idealist factional opinion. I kind of like that. Greatly increases loyalty. Building up our network. The pretenders. Appeal to Gerlein. Battle of Vitz. Hmm. Unlikeliest dissenters. Hanover Calling. Someone increases loyalty. True motive. Increases loyalty. The true motive. It's been said that Remmer loves warm. He loves Blitzkrieg, skirmishes, bombing campaigns, submarine warfare, everything. However, every man has limits to his passion. Himmler's nuclear war will be the last ever fought on Earth. In the space of mere hours, billions will perish for nothing. Remmer might be bloodthirsty, but he's not insane. If we expose Himmler's plan immediately, we will be we will decisively pull him into our camp. Alright, next up. Oh, send in saboteurs. Huh. Interesting. Arm the slaves. And this is Nuremberg. Nuremberg. It's just not going up that high. Flash. I want Flash under us. I really do. Because he's so close. And once he's gone, and once it's done, that's all. Like we can integrate him. Send in Sepatures. That might be bad. Go and do that too. What are we missing here? Re oh, we can integrate him. Yes, yes, immediately. Yes. Even though he's all the way like down here, which isn't great, but hey, I'll take him. I will gladly take him. Moderate support. Pragmatist support. Yeah, the trends are only going down for industrial expertise. That's not bad. That's actually not bad. That's better than what we started with. After this, probably the sensible option. But he's not with us, so we can't really do that yet. Oh, yeah, we can. As expected, Raymer is finally showing his good sense. Not even he wishes to see his homeland engulfed in atomic fire, even if it would forever destroy the Jewish plutocrats and subhuman barbar barbarians. Now we shall begin working towards the integration of Raymer's territory along with the substantial forces. The steely, disciplined, unbridled ferocity of the militarists will be matched even for Burgundy's best. Uh, so someone did say we should appeal to Phelan? Phelan? Or maybe it was Galen, but. Galen? But not Phelan? Hmm. Is this the only one we can take? So, it's either facilitate interbranches, legitimize standards leadership, or arm the slaves. Well, with arm the slaves, this is all about Nuremberg. Well, 895, jeez. Yeah. Yeah, no. Hmm. Standards 21.25. Where? Are these guys 60? Yeah. We gotta do that one. Steiner's just. He's too, he's too far out. As much as I want the nuclear stockpile to the point. Yeah, they're probably going to get that, which is fine. We've got six. We have six, which is great. To the point, this folder contains every piece of information that Hal Raymond needs to know about regarding Burgundian plans. You will proceed by helicopter directly to Hanover and deliver it, then await his response in a term without hesitation. <clears throat> You'll be accompanied by two of my guards, who have orders to terminate you immediately if you unseal the folder. Do you understand? Hauptstrom Fia Schneider nodded without a hint of fear on his face. As he took the red folder in both hands, I understand my fear. Good, continued Hadrish. This may be a one-way journey, if Raymer is so inclined. If in that instance, I will see that your family receives a higher pension. Good luck. Hofstrumfeo, he saluted, see Heil. Heil Heydrich, Schneider replied, one arm straight out and the other one clutching the folder tightly. He turned and strode from the room with the chosen two guards at his back with rifle shoulder. I can't say I share your faith in Raymer, Heydrich sighed Spido away from his seat by the window. He was the real driving force behind the militarists, even more than Shona. He probably hates you more than anyone else apart from Hitler. Heydrich scoffed, I have no faith in I have faith in no man, Spido. That aside, so long as his hate for Himmler eclipses any of his other interests, I believe he'll serve us well. This certainly isn't any more irrational than any of your proposals. Spado didn't respond, and instead, he just scowled, made his excuses, and thought of that mad glint which had ever been in Raymer's eyes. Even a wild dog can be directed. Woo! Craziness. Oh, we have two of these to do. Oh, good lord. Uh, as much as I want to do that one, this one is definitely better. Slisher. Schleicher. Slusher. Slusher industry blend. Yeah. Someone increases loyalty. We want more loyalty. Oh, and we have one more after that. Nope. Cool. <clears throat> Two a day is not bad. That's really pretty good. The sensible option. There's been so many focuses. I'm, I'm enjoying this, but... Just crazy. Just a little bit crazy. Steiner. Is that the... That's, that's the only SS one we could do, which is not bad. Someone increases loyalty, increases factionless idealist. Yeah, actually, it's not bad. It's gone higher. Pragmatists is getting kind of low, though. And the natives really kind of like us. Next up, we shall do 
We could do that one. I don't want to decrease that stuff, though. Oh, what about eyes and ears? All bark and no bite. Ooh, we'd go war with these. Eyes closed. Actually, uh, Black Sphere SS. It is Himmel Himmler leaning. Uh, Fagerline. Schwarze Band. Ah, it's right over here. Uh, it's seven. That's pretty darn close. We probably have some potential to do this one. However, I want to see if we can do other stuff as well. Pragmatist support? Let's try this one. Dietrich's Little Kingdom. Sub Dietrich, famed Panzer Commander, has apparently gone quite mad. He has seized Upper Bavaria and declared himself a Duke. His rationale skipped us utterly, but that is irrelevant. What matters is that he is occupying a sizable piece of the Reich, including prime agricultural land. Dietrich is almost extremely unstable, and he does not enjoy the luxury of a massive Panzer Force as he did 20 years ago. However, every gun, every sack of grain, and every soldier counts in this conflict. He must be brought to heel. Very good. So we can focus on that stuff as well. Rain metal surprise. This can't be true, Hadris muttered. He tossed the folder aside. <clears throat> And leaned over his desk towards Hauptschirmfrau Schneider, towering over the seated officer. Hauptschirmfrau, you are absolutely certain of your count. Will it be necessary for me to take the pliers to myself? To you, myself? No, my fear, blurted Schneider into a frantic fear. I'm becoming of his previous attitude. Please, ask the others. Even the pilot, I heard it. General Wim is with Himmler. I couldn't believe it myself, but it's true. Hadrich bit back his desire to castigate the cowering officer and send him to the Pino Battalion. Instead, relaxing his posture slightly and leaning back, fine, Schneider, I suppose there isn't cause to doubt your story. Guards can find him for the time being, protective custody, bring his family in too. <clears throat> As a glum but somewhat thankful Schneider was escorted from the Reich Chancellery, Hadrich suppressed a, warm, a scream of frustration and tossed the officer's report into the fire. With Himmler, Otto Ernst Raymer, the maddest of the man among Hia's he rabid dogs, a Burgundian, what fool? He loathed them. Like he loathed everyone beyond the borders of. Then it hit him. Hate could do strange things to a man, and just like his newfound ally, Raymer overflowed with it. Many miles away in Ost Paris, Heinrich Kimmler picked up his black telephone as he looked over at Raymer's file. Yes, he would do. Hell, Raymer, he asked as someone picked up on the other side of the line. Likes for Himmler, I understand you wish to discuss a plan for the greater benefit of our race. Insanity loves company. That is saddening, but no matter, we will still push forward. Oh, we have ideal support, modern support, and pragmatist support. An unlikely trio, but no, nonetheless. Deathstrike, that would be cool and all, but actually Saboteur's Industrial Security. Actually, we do both. Right? No, we can't. Oh, crap. Whatever. This one's more important to do anyways. What are, we, are we still building this? Oh, it's, it's, well, there's so many small focuses that we can't really get that much done. We're, ru we're running out of political power, which is not good. Oh, Steiner. Hmm. Dietrich's Little Kingdom. A world all of his own. Return of the SS? Yeah, that'd be good to do. Let Dietrich have his place in Bavaria. There are possible worse rulers for it, are there not? If he can keep the goods flowing and guarantee support as commander of our forces, he, his reign as Duke of Bavaria is acceptable to us. What mad times we live in. Perhaps Josias will declare himself king next? Perhaps. Perhaps. <sighs> do it anyways, why not? Why not? This is just a giant mess. Support industrial security. And it shall be done. Next one is this. This is totally fine with me. Totally fine. Use command power. If we could use more command power, I would probably actually really like that. If we could use more and more and more command power. But maybe that's just me. Next up, we shall do... Return to the SS. Dietrich doesn't have much in the way of an army. Uh, let's see. Actually, can we do that one? Yes, we can. His ordered anarchy is directed by a roving band of black-clad thugs called the Volkswagen, a more loose collection of pro-Dietrich gangs and a true paramilitary. This will not do. The Führer and his certain love for the people will restore order by seeing in the SS military police. With a few shootings and public hangings, we can return the rule of law to the various abundant fields and forests. Very good. Greatly increases loyalty, which is what we want. Alright, so. Arm the slaves and certain officers. We need more army XP, which we just don't have any of. Slightly increases native faction, mm, factional opinion. This would be better to do. Uh, provide material aid, pragmatic support. Yeah, we still need Nuremberg. Like, mm, it, is it not? It's going down. It looks like five out of ninety-five. My goodness, nine, which is not good. But this one is pretty good. So, if anyone can train, it's going to be this group. How much more army speed can we get? It's so little. It's not very much at all. 
Sent SS officers. Who do we want? We've got enough fuel and guns for now. Why not? 41, 28, so we're going to improve that. Natives love us quite a bit. Alright. Mm. It's more important to do. Not bad. Could be, could be a lot worse. Unified units. Oh, look at that. Nice. Return to the SS. Eyes and ears. Eyes Osterreich. Let's see. This one is what? Burgundian system decreases. Yeah, Donuts. Reclaim the fleet. Rule the waves. Greatly increases loyalty to haters. I like that one. Render them neutral in conflict. Uh, let's see. They're independent, and they're allied with... Ah, uh, are uh, those guys over there. Well, we could do that. How yeah, donuts. Hmm. I'm sorry I'm taking so much time trying to figure this out. I'm just not sure exactly which one would be best to do at the current moment. The evacuation, bring the garrison home. Snake in the east. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and... I want to do Durnitz, but Fagaline... Oh, that's close. Barbie is relying on the Reich's communications network to remain in contact with Burgundy. Due to his location, most of Barbie's transmissions must pass through Germania's lines, our lines. All we need to do is hamper Barbie's efforts as a pair of wire clippers and some well-placed jammers. There will be no crack for help to Oscars on our watch. No, sir. No, no, no. Hmm. Nuremberg, it's still going down. Oh. How is this looking? They probably have more stuff now. No. Oh, good. Yeah, they have Shiner. We have to get Nuremberg. If we lose Nuremberg, that would be, that's pretty darn close. We would still be ahead, though. Which would not be bad. Eyes closed. Ears shut. Once Barbie's communications are down, Himmler will likely assume that Susha Heights Dienst des Reichsführer SS has lost to him. Subsequently, we expect him to lose all interest in assisting Barbie further. Short attention spans can be such, such trouble. Barbie's I say that he will surely recognize the futility of his situation and cede power to the Fuhrer. We can be certain that he has many fascinating things to share with us on the topic of Burgundian operations. Next up. Slaves. Yeah. That's probably just the best one to do. Send some advisors. So be it. Yeah. When can we do that? It's still going up a little bit, it seems like, but that's still not great. Trust, 44, 33. Eh, we're actually doing pretty good. Wow, natives really love us. As they should. Or well, fear us. Buller, Dalquin. Shaler, Gila. Oh, figure line, figure line, figure line. Oh, they must have been annexed or something. Yep. Oh my gosh, they're so huge. Now, if we get into a normal war, I'm pretty sure we can win, but still. New decisions. Ooh, something more effective, something more effective, something more effective. An appeal to degeneracy. Just desserts. We'll probably go with this one. Um, you know what? Let's go with this one. It gives us more. Influence efforts focused at moderate factions will be slightly more effective. So, matter of truth, Figaline is a rat and cutting one at that. His image as a dashing cavalryman may be invented. He's killed or killed nobody able back to, to fight back, after all, but that doesn't matter. Truth is subjective in the era of mass media. Something is proven. he has proven with a torrent of slanders, propaganda, being spewed at the Fuhrer from his office. That will need to be dealt with if he is to serve us. Mistakenly, Figaline believes that the Fuhrer's popularity is so diminished that intelligent Germans might actually believe his Himalite lies. Let us show him what real manipulation via media looks like. And, propaganda machine. With Fegeline's uh, propaganda outlets in our hands, we can finally clarify some important points of the good people of Germany. Chief among them is that Fegeline, who was another Judeo-Bolshevik deceiver sent by the elders of Zion and the puppet, Heinrich Himmler, to undermine the unity of the Reich. After the Fuhrer's image has been cleansed of the stain left upon Fegeline's uh, deceptions, we shall turn its ire upon the shadow state. Let us all know the depths of Burgundy's wretchedness and depravity. Which is also bypass as well. Just fine. Just like old times. Increases loyalty to us. Yeah, but they're already allied, so let's not do that. What a Durnitz. Grand Admiral Durnitz has made his triumph return from Crimea now that the dust has settled. Not that he is here to offer loyalty. In fact, we are not certain of what he intends to do. Despite being an avowed Bormanite, he seems he is not here to contest Hadrich's rule. Our sources claim that he's conducting some kind of rescue operation near the border with Denmark. Indeed, many refugees have been fleeing north, causing no shortage of trouble for us. Stemming the flow might make things easier on us. On the other hand, they're still citizens of the Reich and deserving of protection. Aiding them might be the key to forging an alliance with Durnitz. Maybe. Perhaps. Maybe. Yeah, we need Osterreich and the Oba Commandos down there. 
Actually, are there are there Indra's? No, they're not. Which kind of sucks. Why can't we integrate them? Hmm, we need more guns. Alright, so I'm done making all this artillery stuff. We need guns, 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 guns. Guns for days. Okay, we're done. It's good. Reclaim the fleet. The Reich needs no heroes. All alone. We shall render them neutral. Are they allied with anyone? Because we could just take them over, right? They're not allied with anyone. Or, rule the waves. Greatly increases loyalty. I'm going to do this one. Hadrian and the SSR are the only protectors the Reich needs. Durnitz is a relic of times gone by. A man out of time. Heroes cannot save the Aryan race in these dark days and makes one monster to, takes one monster to slay another. That is the fate Hadrian accepted long ago. The refugee columns must be halted and forced to remain in our territory. We need the manpower and resources. Let them hate us for it. We will ask, not ask for their love, only their obedience. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah. Burgundy's all over here. Alright. That'd be good. 77.85. That's the next decision. Arm the slaves. That's the only one we can really do, which really sucks. We need none, but... Oh, it's still going down so much. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm probably going to lose Nuremberg. Bandits reign in Kazakhstan. Oh, wow. The Khan rises. Actually, I want to see this one real quick. So we're probably going to lose that. We'll go down four. They'll go up to three, which really is not good. Really, really, really not good. Have you... Have, has any, I've never seen that before. The Kaz... Uh, Khanate. Abdu Khan. Wow. That's kind of wild. All alone. Begone, Donuts. We have no need of you here. Take your little flea and whatever refugees you have and flee. Whether you sink in the Atlantic or find sanctuary with our enemies matters not. In his wake, we shall be able to reclaim Schleswig Holstein and parts in the ports of Kiel and Hamburg. Having a strong coastal presence will assist with the movement of men and supplies. And Hamburg possesses a considerable amount of industry as well. Good. Uh, Schwarze Band. Suppress refugee movements. Increases loyalty. Um, I don't want to spend political power. We're just, seems like we're just going to go to war with them anyway, so. Don't do that. It's fine. This seems like such a mess, but honestly, like, how many... Okay, so are they suffering from attrition at all? Is there resistance here? They have this... They do not have these areas scored. They have, like... They have a lot of manpower. A lot of divisions. Gosh dang it. This is... What the heck? No. No. All alone? What the heck? Seriously? Hmm... Eyes of Osterreich? I guess that's one of the last few we haven't done. Sons of Sudetenland, first of all. As the first conquerors of the Third Reich, ownership of the Sudetenland will be integral to our legitimization, ah, legitimization efforts. The de facto ruler of the area is now Conrad Henlein, leader of the old Sudetenland NSDAP. He has proclaimed a new movement, the Aryan People's Front, and renewed the defunct Lebensborn program to now try to outbreed the remaining non-Aryan population in Central Europe. Henlein and Hadrian have had a turbulent past. It was at one point necessary for, the, for our Fuhrer to carry out a prayer to the former organization, incident which has now been suing over 20 years. This Pervasive little parasite is at least loyal to national socialist ideals and should be, and should prioritize them over servitude to Himmler. Burgundy's grip on him can easily be loosened, and the resources of the Sudetenland turn into our ends. That is BS. Don't let him in. Why can't we go to war with them? Five. Let's see. Do the army the slaves? Yeah, we're going to lose Nuremberg. Hey, Himmler is just doing too well. It must be so easy playing as Himmler. It's, it's got to be easy, right? Maybe not, but hmm. At least it's a military zone. Or demilitarized zone, I should really say. Some of uh, us Sudenton. Through Himmler's lives, our eyes, greatly increases loyalty. Mm. Ah. Increases loyalty into the fold. Living drum for Lebensborn. Henlein's initiative is in restarting the Lebensborn program is most admirable. The propagation of Aryan seed is always a noble goal. There are perhaps some objections to aspects of his management, but those can be set aside for now. Morals are silent in times of war, as the saying goes. More importantly, Henlein has a program. His leadership capabilities have been demonstrated. Bohemia, Moravia, is in need of a new rights protector, and Henlein is just a man for his job. A loyal national socialist, as well versed in dealing with checks, a man after Hadrian's own heart. God, I hope I did this okay. Because this is not looking great for us. Next up, it is this one. Okay. 
God dang, Burgundy. Is, is, like, the CIA not doing anything about this? Like, can they not see how extreme, like, Himmler is getting? Like, yeah, we're, we're crazy and all. But, seriously, like, can they not see what's going on? I'm running out of political power. Oh, it's going, it's dropping so fast. Leben's round for Leben's born. I'm going to do all eyes to Austria, too. All strike. All strike. Otto Skolzeny has chosen a curious path for his homeland and sees upon against the further as well. He has chosen neutrality, utter farce, of course. There are no neutrals in this conflict. We wage a war for the very existence of a world. We must choose death or the fatherland. It's fortunate that Skolzeny is a man of reason. Clearly, his whims have gotten better of him. It falls to the fear to bring the Arch Commando back to his senses and onto the righteous path. First, though, we should borrow his defenses and see what's been happening in fair Austria. Armed local forces. Let's see. Increases loyalty. Increases loyalty. So... That's fine. Go ahead. Yeah, we're, we're losing a lot of guys. We still... 55 point versus 33. At this point, they'll get that. We'll have this one, that one, and that one. So we should be okay with what's going on. Should be. Eyes also right. And we shall do into the fold. Just, uh, not that one. We already did that one. So, for years, Hedrus ruled Bohemia, Moravia, with an iron fist, squeezing blood from the body of the Czech nation until it turned pale and cold. It is t thanks to him, our great fear, the Czech culture is no more, and each generation of the Aryan survivors will grow up more German than their forebears. Well, as once Czech is now German, and now and forever. It's time to bring our new brothers home, and secure the industry and agriculture of Bohemia, Moravia for the Reich. We shall send forth the Volksfront, and assert absolute dominance over what is rightfully ours. Now, do we ally with them, or... No? Who who's actually leading this group? Ah, von Krasik. Armed slaves, just to try to do something there. There you go, good luck. Yeah, 0 out of 95. 20, yeah. Osterak would be not be bad to get either. Just in case. I'm gonna have you guys come over here. Can we actually, we can't even get down there, so that kind of sucks. Cool, into the fold. Nice. We just forced him into the fight. Cool. Dishpina. It's said that opposites attract. Skolzeny is a man of action, bold, cunning, and first to the fight, even if he fights unconventionally. There are others, some of whom might be lured to our services, who are men of subtlety, cautious, quiet, and easily underestimated. Putting Skolzeny in the same room with such a man could spark a dangerous and explosive reaction, or he might just make something beautiful. Brutal cunning and razor, razor sharp intelligence operating in perfect synchronization might upend everything Himmler has worked towards. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, guys. Just get under us. Why won't you get under us? We were doing so well in the beginning. Now we're just kind of like, ah. Wait, how did they beat them? They didn't even they didn't even do anything. Oh, come on. Were we supposed to go to war with them? Oh, and you guys lost, didn't you? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, we are looking not good. Ooh, ooh. As long as we keep these three, that's what we're, Oh, actually, we might end up losing this one here. Hmm, actually, hold on. Let's see. I need these guys eliminated. We really just need them eliminated. If we go to war, does that mean we go to, like, have nuclear hellfire rain upon us? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, Battle of Vitz? Galen? Um... Uh, building your network... Hmm. Oh, mana dishonor. Wait. Wait, why can't we do that one, Dishman? Wait, hold on. It didn't say that these were these are ore, which is kinda of dumb, but whatever. Just like old times. There's a little tea, there's no point doing that. Well, let's end up our episode here with another one such as Battle Bits, because I think Galen's pretty much gone, so. Uh, yeah. Galen is an arrogant fool. He continues to play his egotistical power games, even as Himmler plots the destruction of our nation and our race and our entire world. The fear has no interest in indulging that snake's vices just to groom his ego. The time has come to end Galen's puppet show once and for all. We've retained a coterie of loyal and experienced spies, veterans of many decades in the Gestapo and SD. No matter his reputation, Galen is not omniscient. He has a weakness and will be found. And building a network. It will not be enough to simply send our spies into the Reich and expect them to succeed. They will need supplies, thin lines, lines back to Germania, and armed support. Galen doesn't have as precious F. H.O. or the Abbear to play with anymore, but he is one but he's but one man, and we have money. Many. 
Not money, but many. Once our agents inveigle themselves into the Reich, we will prepare a coup to remove Galen and integrate his lands directly into our own. Soon, soon he will have nowhere left to run, and then we will have to squash that gosh darn spider. Followed up with what? Hmm. You know, off screen, I'm probably going to experiment with this one. See if this actually does lead to war or not. So, yeah, I think we're done with all these little offense and stuff like that here. I'm going to. Mm, you know what? Let's go Alice abroad. Insane treachery of Himmler runs deep in the SIS and is proliferated throughout the fatherland. Against all reason, it seems that we cannot even trust our own countrymen. Perhaps it is nationhood means nothing in these times. There still might be some value shared in Aryan heritage, however tenuous those ties of blood might be. We shall look to distant shores and the blasted lands of the East. Whatever strength and virtue is to be found, there must be and shall be ours. So, hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. It's been really... Not great, but regardless, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will try to continue upending Himmler's support. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.